In this video, we are going to show you how to add your logo to your documents and make basic customizations. So let's start here with the logo. If you go to system setup, which can be done by clicking on your picture in the top right and heading into system setup from there, um, at the top, we have company information. So if we click into this, there is the option to choose a file here. So I am just going to pick one from my files. I'm going to choose an orange current RMS logo here. So once we've got the logo, we can update the account. And if I just quickly go back into company information, we can see the preview of that logo that is going to go onto our quotes, invoices, and other documents. So now that we've added the logo, we also may want to review what email addresses, telephone numbers, and websites we are displaying to our customers on our documents. We can do this by going back into system setup. We can scroll down to stores here, and we can use the blue arrow to edit the store that we are in. So this is where you can go ahead and update the telephone, email address, and website. So I've put these, by the way, as current RMS's support telephone number, support email address, but of course, this will be your own business information. And at the bottom, you can also input uh, your address as well to make sure that that is up to date. Once we are happy with this, uh, we may also want to review the colors of our documents as well as the column headings. So if we head back into system setup, and if we scroll down to document layouts, this is where we can start opening up uh, our different documents and making customizations to them. And so within this screen, we can search for the word configurable because current RMS does have eight user-friendly documents where you can actually use tick boxes to select what information you want to show to your customers. Um, within here, you can click on any of these documents to edit them. However, we would recommend cloning them just in case you make any changes to your documents that you don't like, you will always have the original one to fall back on. So I'm going to clone this quotation document and I'm going to call this the current RMS quote, for example. And I'm gonna make that active. So you can see here that this has brought through my orange logo to the top of the document. Um, but what we can actually do within this is A, we can start changing some of these colors because we can see that the other text here is green. Perhaps I want everything to be in orange here. So what I'm going to do is you can either click into the title and use the color scheme here, or if you know uh, what, what your color is in hashtag terms, like I do here, I can just put this in and that will just ensure that the document is in the colors that I want it to be. So you can see here, we've now got our quotation here and I've changed the, some of the colors. So again, I can change some of the others if I wanted to as well. And um, as we move down here, we then have the document title. So again, if I wanted to call this an estimate instead of a quotation, I could just type that in there. In a second, it's gonna change this title for me. So you can rename whatever you want on this document. And as we scroll all the way down, we will then get through to terms and condi conditions that you can free type, but also we have these check boxes here. And this is where, say if I prefer my logo to be on the right rather than the left, I can untick this, retick that, and it will just dynamically move it on the screen for us. Um, as we go all the way down, this is where we can also select the items table. So you can see here at the moment that we've got a surcharge column, Perhaps I don't want to show that surcharge. I could untick that and I might want to include something like the days that we're charging the rental for. So if I untick and retick that, you can see there that that surcharge column has changed to a days column. So you can continue to play around with this and get a customized document layout just by using this configurable document. Ultimately, once you are happy with this document, you can then just go ahead and create this.